This lecture is about two-dimensional to two-dimensional coordinate transforms. We'll first look at rigid frame transforms in two dimensions. So a two-dimensional rigid frame transform describes the pose of one two-dimensional frame with respect to another. So for example, um, the primed frame with respect to the unprimed frame. So that's described by a translation vector t in two dimensions and a rotation angle theta. Uh, the rotation can also be expressed as a matrix, a two by two matrix R, as we'll see a little bit later. In this kind of transform, a, any object shape or size is preserved. And the number of degrees of freedom for this kind of transformation is three because we have two degrees of freedom for t, the translation vector, and one degree of freedom for theta. Let's look at um, a rotation first in 2D. Rotations are the, are the most difficult part of this uh, transformation. Um, so I'm going to derive a, um, the expression for the rotation matrix just by looking at the trigonometry of this. So if I um, consider a point P, let's say here, and um, look at the vector from the origin O to P, looks like that. And then I look at the projection of um, P onto the different coordinate frames. So the projection onto um, the unprimed frame is I'll call that point A, and on the primed frame, I'll call that point B. So um, x, the x coordinate is just the um, line segment 0 to A, and by trigonometry, you can see it's the hypotenuse uh, O to P times the cosine of theta plus phi. And I should have drawn phi here. Phi is the angle from here to here. Um, the y-coordinate is um, is given to um, um, it's O P sine of theta plus phi. Now we can use the um, double angle formulas in trigonometry to write cosine of theta plus phi as cos theta cos phi minus sine theta sine phi. And sine of theta plus phi is sine phi, I'll write it this way, cos theta plus cos phi sine theta. So if I plug in that into my expression up on top, I get that x is uh, the line segment OP cosine phi cos theta minus OP sine phi sine theta. So OP cos phi, if we look at the diagram, is just x prime. OP sine phi is just y prime. So this becomes x prime cos theta minus y prime sine theta. And similarly, we can also derive the expression for y, um, which is x prime sine theta plus y prime cos theta. So writing that as a um, matrix expression, I can write xy is just cos theta minus sine theta sine theta cos theta and then multiplied by x prime y prime. So this then is our um, 
uh, rotation matrix here, 2x2 two two rotation matrix, that describes the orientation of one frame with respect to the other. Okay, we can also look at, um, <coughs> let's get this pointer back. We can also look at um, some properties of the rotation matrix. So um, R is an orthonormal matrix, meaning that the columns are orthogonal. So the dot product of any two columns, any pair of columns, is zero. Same thing for the rows. Also, the length of the columns is equal to 1, and length of rows is equal to 1. For this kind of matrix, the inverse of the matrix is equal to the transpose. So R times R transpose is equal to the identity matrix. Also, the determinant of the matrix is equal to 1. If we wanted to uh, rotate the other way, in other words, find the um, primed coordinates from the unprimed coordinates, we could multiply the unprimed coordinates by the inverse of the rotation matrix, which is in this case just the, the transpose. All right, one thing that makes things easier with matrix multiplications is homogeneous coordinates. All this means is that we take our two-dimensional point and we append a third element which is equal to 1. And if that third element ever becomes not 1, something other than 1, due to some uh, operation, we just divide that through. So effectively, a uh, vector x, which I denote as x wiggle to mean it's homogeneous, is um, any scaled version of that is, th those are all equivalent. So effectively, vectors that differ only by scale are considered to be equivalent. And the advantage of this is it simplifies these uh, transforms. So a general two-dimensional two rigid transform takes the, uh, the point x, y, multiplies it by the rotation matrix, and then adds a translation. So it's r, x, plus t. But if I express x wiggle in terms of um, homogeneous coordinates, I can multiply by a single matrix. In this case, it's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix, where r is a 2 by 2 matrix here, t is a 2 by 1 vector here, and the last row is 0, 0, 1. So multiplying the homogeneous coordinate x, y, 1 times that uh, transforms it to x prime, y prime. And therefore, um, I can write it as a single um, matrix multiplication like this. So we can think of um, these homogeneous points as um, uh, two-dimensional points, uh, which are really uh, the space of three-dimensional points, um, except for the origin 0, 0, 0, because obviously we can't divide through by 0 as the last element. So this is called a 2D projective space.